information tonight on the Rio Rico man who is accused of trying to open an emergency exit during a flight from Alaska to Oregon. 23 year old Alexander Herrera made his first court appearance on a charge of attempted destruction of an aircraft. He did not enter a plea. Valerie Cavazos with the latest. Frightening moments in midair. Passengers on Alaskan Airlines flight tackled Alexander Herrera after he tried to open an emergency exit. I could see his face and he was very determined. He uh, was trying to get that door open. A criminal complaint released today states Herrera told investigators he has been diagnosed as bipolar and has not been taking his medicine, a statement his father confirms. He did not like it. He stopped the medication. He was acting normal. He did not have any more um, manias. Life was okay. Herrera was polite at the start of the flight, but later made claims of being psychic. Not surprising to the medical director of the Southern Arizona Mental Health Clinic, who treats bipolar patients. If someone's acutely manic, they, uh, they're at higher risk for being psychotic, uh, which means that they could be hallucinating, having delusional thoughts. Often detaching from reality. He says bipolar people can behave impulsively. The criminal complaint states Herrera asked a woman seated next to him, What would you do if I opened the exit door? Do they intend to harm others or just through their actions may be dangerous to others? They might not have any intention to harm other people, but maybe because of their poor judgment uh, at the time or delusional thinking. They may act on them even in midair. Residents we spoke to in Rio Rico know little or nothing about Herrera. One resident who went to high school with him described him as weird. Valerie Cavazos, Kega 9 on your side. Dr. Nagella says it's critical that bipolar patients continue treatment. Herrera is now in jail waiting for a detention hearing.